Hey everybody and happy Thanksgiving! I am going to show you guys my Dutch apple pie with oatmeal streusel. It is the pie that I am taking to Thanksgiving tomorrow at my in-laws. So um, I might have to try to do this with little short clips with my um, phone camera or um, photos or something. So we'll see how this turns out. Obviously can't take my webcam around the kitchen, but um, here goes. And I'm gonna put all the ingredients and the recipe down in the um, description box below. So happy Thanksgiving and here it is. Okay, you are going to wanna preheat your oven to 425. So. Oops, there we go. So 425 to preheat the oven. All right, you guys, first you're gonna wanna start off by um, getting some apples, obviously. And um, I chose Granny Smith apples and Golden Delicious apples, the combination. So um, I think that I got four of each. Um, the recipe calls for five cups of apples. I have no idea how to measure cups of apples when they're chopped like this, uh, but that looks about good, right? Um, <laughs> so I um, peeled them with my little KitchenAid peeler. You want to make sure you get all the skin off of your apples. And um, then I just sliced them up. Obviously you core them so that they don't have their core. Um, I just sliced them up. I sliced them into pretty thin slices because um, that's just how I like my apple pie. I like kind of thinner slices. So that is step number one. Now for this recipe or for any pie recipe, of course you can buy a pre-made pie crust at the store. Um, I actually couldn't find any. Um, pie crust is not one of my favorite things to make. I just um, don't find it very interesting to make pie crust. So usually I buy the pre-made pie crust. Um, I couldn't find any of the normal pre-made pie crust in an aluminum pan this time. So this is what I bought. Um, they're Pillsbury pie crusts and um, it comes like this and so it's basically just pie crust that's been rolled out for you. So um, we're gonna open this sucker up. Basically, it's just like this. You just unroll it and stick it in your pie pan. You're finished with that. This is what it should look like. And um, you kind of want to bring the um, crust kind of over the edges a little bit. Then it wants you to stick this in the freezer until you're ready um, to put your pie filling in. So we're just gonna stick that in the freezer. For the next step, we're going to finish the filling. So for this step, you're going to need, oh, I guess our oven's preheated. <laughs> for this step, you're going to need two tablespoons of flour, uh, two thirds cup of white sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of allspice. Okay, so after you have mixed your flour, sugar, and your spices, um, you want to get it all mixed together. You're going to combine it with your apples and get all the apples completely covered. Now I'm kind of doing this as I go because I have a lot of apples and I feel like I might have cut too many apples. Um, so at the end of this video, when I'm done with the pie, I'll probably let you know how many apples I think would be good for this pie because I didn't really say how many apples to use, just how many cups of apples. So. You just want to get all the pieces of apple covered with the mixture, the sugar and the flour and the spices. And then um, put them into your pie pan. Okay, so I pretty much have the apples in my pie crust. I don't want to fill it too full because I am going to do um, the streusel on top and then I'm going to do the lattice over the top. So I don't want it to be too, too full. Um, <clears throat> I do still have a ton of apples left over. So I'm thinking maybe for this pie, um, I would do four apples. Um, I did eight apples, and I'm probably gonna just make another pie with the leftover apples. I'll show you how many left are left over. So about half are left over, maybe a little bit more than half. So I'd probably recommend doing four apples for this. Um, just really lightly cover it, and we're gonna stick it in the oven for 10 minutes while we make this trusel. Okay, so our pie is in the oven and the filling is baking a little bit for 10 minutes at 425. Next, we're gonna make the streusel. So for the streusel, you are going to need um, three quarters cup of flour. You're going to need um, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So we got our little cinnamon down here. 
you're going to need um, half a cup of brown sugar and um, you want packed brown sugar and we're going to need three quarters of a cup of oatmeal and um, the recipe also calls for a teaspoon of lemon zest but um, here I am <laughs> talking to you um, I did not buy lemon at the store so I'm going to not have lemon zest in mine but um, more power to you if you're doing lemon in yours so um, we're gonna take all of our ingredients and um, mix them up in our bowl okay so we have all of our ingredients we're just going to mix everything together and um, once everything is mixed we're going to um, be using half a cup of butter and you want to use butter that is softened um, not melted and not super hard and um, you're going to cut that into the mixture okay so here's the butter it's a half a cup of butter Okay, our timer is beeping, so we're going to go ahead and take the pie out um, and then put our streusel on top. Alright, just got this out of the oven. This is what it will look like. Um, the sugar mixture has started to melt. The apples are looking, um, you know, shiny. If you can see, the crust is starting to lightly, lightly brown. So um, we're going to go over here, finish our streusel, and then put it on top. Okay, so um, after you um, finish the streusel, it should look like this. It should be a um, pretty crumbly mixture. And um, we're going to go ahead and just sprinkle that over the top of our pie. So um, I'm going to use my hands. I promise they're clean. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and sprinkle it over the top. Sorry if I'm not getting a very good view, you guys. It's hard to watch what I'm doing and watch the camera angle. So you just want to sprinkle it all on the top. Make sure that it's really even. Okay, this is what it looks like. Um, you want to reduce your oven temperature to 375. Oops, okay, there we go. So, start on. And um, while that's heating, this recipe doesn't call for it, but I really like the look of the um, crust latticed over the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while the oven is changing temperature. Again, I'm just using one of these guys, the Pillsbury pie crust. So here it is rolled out. I am going to flour the countertop a little bit so I don't get any stickage. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some flour onto my counter and then spread this out so I'm just gonna go ahead um, start in the end here and I'm just gonna cut it into strips alrighty there's my strips I'm gonna lay them over my pie Here's my pie. Another good thing about having the already pre-made um, strips is that they're already round, they're already in the shape of a pie crust, so you can just start laying them on um, and then you're gonna weave them. So I'll try to just take little pictures as I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm starting to weave it and um, you just keep going until the whole pie is weaved. So you just kinda do a basket over, under, over, under. And um, these things are great. You can stretch them out a little bit too so that if they don't go all the way to the edge of your pie, you can stretch them. And um, when the whole thing's done, the whole thing's latticed, you want to make sure to press um, the edges down. So let me go finish the pie. Okay, so I have done the whole pie. Um, it's just kind of, you know, latticed, um, weaved like a little basket. And I'm going to go stick it in the oven. Hey, so um, 35 minutes have passed, um, and my pie is done. So I'll let you guys take a look at it. Oh, it smells so good. Too bad we have to wait till tomorrow. So here it is. When your pie is done, um, it's going to be lightly browned. And um, I think this just looks so delicious. So um, I had initially put it in for 30 minutes. When 30 minutes were up, it was still looking just very lightly browned, but not, not enough. 
So I put it in for five more minutes. Looked at it again. It was eh. So I put it in for another five minutes. So 40 minutes total. And um, if you don't do the crust over the top, you probably don't have to do it for that long. But um, yeah, there we go. So that's the finished product. And um, I hope you guys liked it. And I'll let you know how it is. It smells really good. So I hope it came out good. Alrighty. Okay, so that was my video, uh, my apple pie video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys try. If anyone tries the recipe, let me know how it turns out. And um, I'm wishing everybody a very happy Thanksgiving. And I um, just wanted to say really quick that I am so thankful for my loving husband. He is so sweet, not to mention the fact that he um, figured out how to hook up my cell phone to my computer so that I could transfer all of my videos to my laptop. So without him, this would have never been possible. So, um, and he brought me home roses. Who doesn't love a man that does that? So, um, I wanted to say I'm very thankful for him, very thankful for my family and my friends and for everybody that watches my videos. Uh, thank you so much. I hope everybody has a fantastic Thanksgiving tomorrow and I will talk to you guys later. Oh, and I'm just going to do a quick, <laughs> my husband is going to have a quick cameo in this video. I was so excited that he figured out how to hook up my phone to my computer so I could transfer the videos because I was trying to do it wirelessly and it was just not working. So I took a quick video of him so you guys get to see my hubby. So um, here he comes. Here's my cute hubby. He just helped me figure out how to get videos from my phone to my computer. He's the best. Say hi, honey. Hi, honey. Isn't he cute?